en demasiadas ocasiones soluciones simplistas, aparentemente fáciles, ocupan los titulares y ocupan las decisiones. We have policy driven evidence. The politicians they decide the targets and the evidence is because they have said it. Nadie tiene la sensación de que está trazado el camino para culminar la transición. Las normativas a todos los niveles todavía tienen que demostrar su eficacia y también son necesariamente temporales y deberán suprimirse o modificarse. Creemos que es importante que para ser eficaces en ese objetivo, que sin duda alguna todos tenemos, y es promover a la sociedad de energía sostenible, de una energía fiable y de una energía económicamente también a unos niveles razonables, se tengan que partir de bases, datos y argumentos sólidos. And I think interim goals are exceedingly important. It's great to be ambitious, but unless you have measurable goals that entities are accountable to, it's really difficult to say whether you're going to get there or not. All the new targets through the Repower EU, where the Fit for 55 targets, they are not achievable. The energy transformation cannot be done by politicians. You need citizens, business, technology providers. You need those. And those have to have their voice. We're very realistic about the challenge ahead of us. Our renewable production must be 3x of what it is today, and our storage investments and capacity must be ATEX. I'm optimistic because the technology is there, the willpower is there, and it's really, again, just about setting those goals and moving towards them. But wouldn't this risk uh, uh, to increase another dependence on autocracies? They mostly uh, control uh, the rare earths and so-called green metals needed for the green transition. The answer is definitely yes. What is really important is that from now on that we try to pursue uh, the overarching energy objectives, sustainability, security of supply and affordability competitiveness all together. I see from Hanon that there is some good news on lithium. We have a really great resource associated with one of our geothermal plants where lithium is actually a byproduct of geothermal creation there. Right now, we're estimating we could supply about one third of the global need of lithium. My impression is that the European Union for the moment thinks that they are first in everything and they do not need to learn from others. And I don't believe that. California is an example for that. One thing the California Energy Commission is really good about is making investments and tying it to an outcome. I think we need to have an honest conversation of where hydrogen comes from. The majority of hydrogen today is from fossil fuel production. So we will help fund fuel production for hydrogen, but we want it to be green. We want it to be from renewable sources. Again, we know that's not gonna happen overnight. We're not asking the industry to flip a switch, but we need to have an honest conversation of that transition forward.